with our grade one, two class. Today, we have just our grade two. Okay. So you were in French immersion this morning, and now you're in English this afternoon? Yes. Very good. Yes, Cyrus. I think we're okay. Okay. So we um, celebrated a day that you celebrated last week, uh, grade two, and we talked about dot day just like you did, and we heard that you had some activities that you could share with us. We did. So we created a really big dot so that we called it our class group dot. Everyone in our class got to be creative and then sign their name just like Vashti in the story. So I'm going to show you our giant dots here. Wow. All of our art and our signatures. It's a big dot. We had 19 students plus me, uh -huh. and we created our dot. Wow. And I see a lot of dots within the dots that are very interesting. It is. Beautiful. And then we, uh, we had quite a few other activities. We created some art on the iPad. We went on a dot scavenger hunt, and we took pictures with the iPad and our phone of dots around the school. And then on Monday, after we had our weekend, it was important for us to reflect on what we've learned on dot day. And so I have a few volunteers who will come up and share some of their reflections, thinking about what they learned about or how they felt about dot day. So we'll share five, and then we'd love to hear what you did. That's great. And while you're getting the first student ready, we wanted to let you know that yesterday we watched the video um, that you had created that had some of your art from the iPad and your big dots and it was really a lot of fun to watch. You can tell that you really enjoyed yourself and that you found a lot of dots. We did indeed. I said as a challenge they should watch the video again and again until they count up all the dots. And Martin, he watched it and he counted 266 dots. <laughs> Holy smokes! That's a lot. There are actually even more than that. So if I said to the top dot counter, I would award a dot prize, but I still only have one person that's met the challenge. So okay. we'll see who wants to do that. <laughs> Very cool. All right. We have lots of volunteers, but we're only taking five. Hands down if you have already shared your reflection. Aww. Yeah, that <laughs> is other people an opportunity. Logan, you shared already. So, Zoe, why don't you come up and you can read your reflection? Okay. Good afternoon, <laughs> Zoe. For us all to hear. Oh, you can stand by your chair, Zoe, and then you can see they can see your face. Come back up. Yes, I am an artist because I just feel like I'm free and it is just fun and easy for me. And plus I get to draw whenever I want and wherever unless the teacher tells me to. <laughs> So I hope you got both of us. Zoe was saying she's an artist and it makes her feel free because she can just draw whatever she wants, wherever she wants, and that's what she learned on Dot Day. Nice. It sounds like a connection to the main character in the story, too. And just like Vashti, right? Sophie, come on up and speak very loud and clear so our great students can hear us. <laughs> Yeah, we're all tired. <laughs> okay, good. Having fun in school is important. Find the dots 
in the school. Oh, so Noah really enjoyed this stat. Okay. And we'll do one more because awesome. we still want to hear from Musa's class in Vitzer and the day two. So we need to get going. Uh, Costa, why don't you come up? Okay. Nice enough that it will be our turn to listen. Okay. Hi there. Okay. There are many dots in the world. I can't search of anybody. It's Kendra. Okay. And so, Costa said, he learned there are so many dots. Very nicely done. It sounds like you were really getting a good understanding of the story too, and that art is for everybody. Okay, now what? We would love to see and listen to what you have to share from your class in Pennsylvania. Okay, one of the things that we did was we found a dot and we photographed the dot just like you did in your video, and then we made poems about the dot. And we have those online, but we also have them in our writing journals that we're going to share with you. So, Espen, would you like to go first? And this, I don't want you to get seasick, but I want to show you what Espen made and found. Okay. Do you see the screw in the back of his chair? Do you see the dot? That's his dot. You do. Okay. Okay, ready, Espen? Okay, let me make sure we, there he is, nice and loud, buddy. There is a dot, there is a brown dot, there is a dull dot, there is a small brown dot, there is a small brown dot that can hold the back of the chair. Were you able to hear that? We did. It was a dot poem of many colors. Okay, thank you very much, Espen. And I think we probably have time for one or two more. Is that okay? Okay, um, Catherine? Oh, wait, Catherine, we don't have your dot here. Um, sure, come on over. Catherine wrote a poem about a dot. It was a sticker that was on a computer that crashed today, so we don't have it right now. Yes. Um, but it was a perp, a green, a green sticker that was on the computer. Okay. And it was a dot. Okay. Nice and loud, Catherine. There was a dot. There is a, a green dot. There is a, a dark dot. There is a dot on the computer. There is a little dark green dot on the computer. The purpose of my dot is there is Skype on the computer. On the computer. Okay. Were you able to hear her? We are. It's, I think that maybe our internet is a little choppy, but we caught most of it, yes. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. And then do we have time for just one more quick one? Okay. We have the time. Okay. Olivia, and do you want to grab your dot? We have a lot of flamingos in our classroom. And there's 228. And what Olivia did was she found a um, tag on a flamingo that was in the shape of a dot. So here's her dot. Okay. Play online. You have to say it really loud, Olivia, so we can hear. Okay, nice and loud. There is, there is a Okay, so she wrote her dot about the tag that was on the flamingo. Excellent. Yes. What do we say for 
to the uh, Grace and Green class for sharing their great poems with us. Thank you. Yep, and third grade, can we give the second grade class a hand? <laughs> Thank you very, there's James again. Thank you very, very. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for Skyping with us and sharing with us what you did. Have a great, great afternoon, guys. Bye.